This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. So now we need to create a new screen. So let me just try to duplicate it. So I'm going to here, come here and click duplicate. Uh, I'm going to get rid of most of these. Let's have a look before we delete anything. No, this is pretty much what we have right now. So let's just click over here. The browser is locked, so we're not going to unlock it. Now what do we have? We have another title. So we're going to come here. We're going to take title. Click it. A big title. We put the big title over here. And paste it. Browse faster. And we got an image. So again, we're going to go here. Hit image. Bring it here. Again. I am going to expand it and place it at the center. Then we got a small title. So let me go with the subtitle over here. Let me just drag it and I'm going to be search instantly. Let me just zoom out a bit because I'm feeling a little bit constrained with the screen real estate. So let me just take these two a little bit up. Again, I hold shift and take it up. I take up the small subtitle and I'm gonna hit option and I'm gonna create a duplicate of it. And I come back to Chrome and see type less over here. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna paste it. So now you can see that there's a paragraph type of text over here. How do we get that? So here we go. There we have it. Balsamic has everything for us. We're going to type copy the same. I'm going to paste it here. And let it be. I'm just not happy with the text size. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to increase it to 16. And let's have a look. Nope. Still feels a little bit. something's missing let me just try to reduce the size I'm gonna copy the same thing uh oh we're gonna bring it up okay I'm gonna copy the same thing over here and let's copy this start using autofill and we have completed screen 2 now we're gonna duplicate the same and we're going to come here, pick up where you left off. Pretty much the same thing. We're going to copy this. Come here. Place it again in the center. Use the guidelines for reference. Oh, I have a stray arrow mark, which we don't need. Do we have it here? Yes, we do. We're going to delete this. Okay. Again, we have an image over here, but there's a difference. Below the image, we have a paragraph of text and no subtitles so we're gonna delete these bring the image down drag it up a bit and copy this and let's paste it And again, we have the same type. So we're going to create a duplicate. Make Chrome yours. We have make Chrome yours. We paste it. Again, drag it up to the center. Copy this. Position it a little bit better. And finally, the last duplicate we're gonna delete this so how do we have it so we have an image so we're gonna delete this we're gonna delete this we're gonna take this resize it so that it pretty much aligns to what we see on the screen and we have a t title so we're gonna drag title
get Chrome for Mac. I'm gonna paste it. Get Chrome for Mac. One browser. This is a subtitle. The size is a little bit too big, so let's reduce it to 16. Too small. 18. We have a button. Again, the call to action. You don't need to insert a new one. Let's go here. Copy this. Bring it back down. Paste it. Download Chrome. Again, we have the same line of text for Mac OS 10.9 or later. Copy it. Bring it down. Paste it. I'm using Command C and Command V for it. And you can use Control C or Control V if you're on Windows. And we have got the same thing over here. The same, same, same button. Let's hit Control C. And we're going to paste it here. So, we forgot one important element, and that element is the footer region over here, which has got some important text and also various important links. So, we are going to do the same too. So, let's go here, let's add a line, and we are going to have something called the horizontal separator. Yes, there we go. So we're going to bring this here. We're going to position it here and drag it all the way over here. Let's go back to Chrome and see that we have small subtitles over here with important links. So let's come over here. Again, let's take a text and let's explore. So there is something called a link bar which you can add over here, but I do not recommend it right now. So let's just go to the some text, type products, oops, products. I want to hold Alt or Option and bring it here. It's I think it's businesses. So let me just. Oh well. And let me just drag it back over here. Education. Double click it. Education. Very, very important. Dev and partners. latest news so let me just it up. let me just see how well they're spaced out so they're spaced out pretty evenly let me just go here let me start by using shift I move it to the corner I move this to the corner. I move education. Oops, I click on businesses. They look pretty evenly spaced out. And now we are going to add a list. Copy this. Hit enter we did not want the border so we're going to remove that border so we got a list all of these are links I'm not happy with the size so I am going to increase it to about 15 let's make it 16 yep looks good and I'm gonna drag this up over here to the businesses using again option I'm gonna duplicate it and I'll bring these lists I'm going to double click, I'm going to paste it here. Then I'm going to use these three again. Drag. I'm going to paste it. I'm 
I'm going to paste it again. And latest news. Oops, I did not want to go to the Google Plus page of Chrome. Do people even use Google Plus? I don't know. Again, let's go to Chrome log. Now we'll check it out later. Let's come over here, hit option. Paste it again. Yup, we got the footer, but we can make out there's another line over here. So do we have enough screen real estate? Let's see. So again, I'm gonna click on the horizontal rule. I'm gonna hit option and I'm gonna drag a new one right below. Let me just give some spacing over there. And we have a bunch of text, an icon, an Addison G plus and a drop down list. So we're going to use the same stuff. So we're going to take some text and now we're just going to copy this entire line of text and paste it. We have an icon, so let's just go here and hit Google Plus. Yep, we have a G Plus icon. We're gonna drag it up here. We notice it is way big for us, so we're gonna come here, go to the slider and reduce it to, I think, excess. Nope, that's too small. Let's have it at, let's have it at S. Drag it down here, let's see, it's, We have another text with another icon. So we're just gonna copy this, add this on. Again, we're gonna insert some text. Where is my best buddy some text? Yep, I already clicked it. Now paste it. And again, we need a Google Plus. Yep, we have it. here we have it. It's a filled up icon, so we have Google Plus official. I'm gonna drag it up over here. Again, drag the slider up to XS. And what else are we missing? Yep, we have the drop down. So how do we insert the drop down? It's pretty easy. We come over here, we go to drop down. So in Balsamic, it's called a combo box. So I'm just gonna drag the combo box, click on it, we get the combo box over here. It's a bit long, so, and what are we gonna name it as? Let's just type, English United States. Excellent. I am loving it. So we have completed the mockup. Just a quick trivia. If you notice there's something called Chromium over here and Chrome OS, but Chromium, so if you ever wondered what the difference between Chromium and Chrome is that Chromium is an open source platform of the Chrome web browser. Chrome web browser has a lot of Google specific applications, whereas Chromium is open source. If you're a developer, you'll be able to take Chromium and mod it and do whatever you want with it. That's a bit of trivia for you. So, yep, we are finished with this beautiful wireframe of the Google Chrome website.